Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here in Dusseldorf, Germany at the World's Largest RV Show, and we are back in the Heimer display. Heimer is the leader of RVs over here in the U, not the UK, but over here in Europe. And they just have so many different selections. And so what we're doing today is we're taking a look at this limited edition B-Van, and then we're taking a look at a standard Heimer B-Van, and then that blue one down there with the Fiat chassis. We have five Class B motorhomes that we're gonna take a look at today. We're super excited to begin. We're starting in three, two, one. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again guys, we are having the time of our lives here in Dusseldorf, Germany. So many different RVs to see. It's almost, it's almost a sad thing because we're not even touching 1% of the market, but the 1% we are touching is the good stuff. So before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! How's it going today? It's going really good, you guys. Again, uh, another day of just being super surprised. Yes. And yeah, we are super excited to look at these B-Vans. Yes. Now, Andrea, these B-Vans are a lot like the B-Vans that we see in America, but you know there's going to be some Differences. German engineering and some really great stuff going on here. So with us today is Jens. How do you, how do you say it? Jens. Jens. Jens from Heimer. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with you're us. Welcome. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit more about Heimer uh, yeah. for what people might not know. Yeah. We are here in front of our camper vans and we are specialized here, as you can see, on the four-wheel uh, drive based vans. So this is a specialty here and we are well known here for the Grand Canyon S crossover. So Mercedes based four-wheel drive with a lot of equipment, independent with lithium batteries and a really nice special edition and a nice look. So this and you will Yes, and you know we love special editions, so let's take a look at this Mercedes. First, we have nothing like this in a, well one, we do have Mercedes in America, but they're always black or white or silver. I love the color with the green. Green is bold, it's different. Nobody else is doing that. Um, is this 130,000 euro? Yes, exactly. Wow, that's actually a phenomenal price. Uh, they're a lot more expensive in America. This has the four by four. So tell us what we got going on here. Yeah, we have as well special equipment inside, so with the light bar on top, we have uh, a lot of um, bat battery system inside, we have the diesel heater inside, okay. so a lot of independence yes. that you need going around with this um, yeah, off-road as well. Now, is this going to give you everything that they have in America, adaptive cruise control, lane assist? Yes. Very good. All the system systems are already inside, included in this special edition. So. When it comes to the chassis part, everything already inside. So Perfect. we used uh, engine as well. Let's take a look at the uh, around the side here. Yeah. The special thing that we are doing here is for the, the bed. So we oh. have a, that we are we have a transverse bed. So in this way we are making it up to 195, 1 meter 95 in length. So is that brand new? Oh, it's not brand new. Okay. We have it very sincere, but this is a specialty on the Mercedes-based vans that you need to do because it's a bit more narrow yes, than yes. the Fiat-based. Yes, no, they, they do this in America as well. And I was like, whoa, maybe America did something first. <laughs> but no, if you've had the six years, yeah, yeah, sure. Winnebago started doing it about, what, two years ago, maybe? Yeah. Love the green. Yeah. And then look at these tires, Dre, the BF Goodrich. I love those. Yes. LT 245-75 R16. Very nice. And we are uh, well known. We are because we're one of the first ones in Europe coming up. I think 10 years ago with the pop-up roofs. We are uh, bringing it up in the in the color of the vehicle with a lot of equipment inside, and uh, it's enlarged the space. So. Two beds in the back and two beds up there, so up to four wow. people. Uh, so you guys have people. had pop tops in Mercedes for 10 years? Yes. Wow. We're the first ones and uh, coming out as well with the Fiat. So. Well, hopefully, now that Thor Industries owns Heimer, they can start, you know, we're, we're trying to shake up the RV industry and get some of these Euro touches here. 
Cassette right toilet. here. That's the toilet. It's locked. It, it's that's a toilet. That's the toilet. That's the, the Truman diesel heating yes. system. So probably. I love know. the green. Yes. Let's take a look at the inside. Very cool. So here from the back, you can see the the, the bed itself with the yeah. East to west. Yes. With the east. enlargement. <laughs> Let's say we have a nice uh, frolly uh, sleeping comfort system. Okay. And what's for sure interesting, there are all the um, lithium systems. So okay. we are quite independent. We have uh, with 300 uh, ampere hours of uh, lithium systems and as well a toilet system to change. So once oh, one is full, yep. <laughs> so you're independent and you have more days of uh, toilet tank. Yes. Right here, this does flip up out of the way. You have your hitch here. Very nice. Yeah. Backup camera. You can leave these open. It'll help with the light. Yeah, and of course, the nice uh, framed windows here. The nice, uh, yeah, here with the carbon uh, Design, so in general, it's a nice, uh, yes. nice tooly awning. Yes, exactly. Awesome. Ready? Yeah. Oh, we're recording. Okay, Andrea, we'll circle back to that one. They have some customers buying it, which you know always gets me fired up. But you said this one has the same interior. Yes. Okay. Very good. You know what, Andre? Come on. We'll take a look at this one again. This is going to be a full length video. Again, customers always come first. So we'll take a look at this one down here. So, what's this one? Yeah, it's basically this is well a Mercedes uh, camper van. Okay. But here it's based on the front wheel drive. So, it's um, a different um, concept. Yes. You have a huge advantage, as you can see here. You have a more eight centimeters more of height, so yes. two meters uh, of height in the interior, which makes it quite special. And as well, more price. Uh, yes. Um, economical. Yeah, economical than the four-wheel drive with all the equipment. So we're right. starting here from sixty thousand euro on. So wow. It's a, it's a, it's let's say our entry product for. The Mercedes based camper. Wow. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Here as well, uh, as you can see, the pop top is uh, as an option inside. Um, have a look. Very, very nice. It looks like it's good for wine. Nice pop top to get up here. Very nice. You know these B vans. Now, do you guys call them B vans or no? No, we call them actually here. Uh, they are just camper vans. Camper vans. Yep. Yeah. So very nice. You have your seat right here. Sitting group. Yeah. Table. We have the nice cabinet. Again, no, nobody's putting storage above I here, like and I kind of like it. It gives it more headspace. It's, it's more. Yeah. It gives a more open space. In here, America, so. they always put like a shelf there, which really right. encloses it in. Right here, how's this bathroom, Andrea? Like our bathrooms. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Small. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's a six-meter vehicle, poop but yes. with a with a nice, uh, I think, for this size, a nice bathroom area. Yes. Which yes. is quite uh, functional at this point. Okay. And then again, okay, look at this nice. Sink. See all their cabinetry here has I love locks. It. Very nice. I like the light-colored wood. Looks really pretty. Yes. Very nice. It's absolutely beautiful. And Matt, you can see that they have storage down here too. Where's that? Yeah. Here you go. Wow. Very nice. See, I, I love that they utilize everything, every yes. inch of space. And maybe you can take out this one because this, is, this cool. is a step for the for the, for oh, the front. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay. So we can pull it out. And then or climb nice, up on the back. Nice wow. Climb on the back. Wow. On the back side, it's a storage. Um, yes. Very cool. And then we have store, uh, these storage bags here. Yeah, there, there's a table inside. So, a table already uh, included. And uh, of course, the two chairs. Fridge, uh, little freezer. And a big 90 liter compressor fridge. Storage. 
Which, very cool. We got the sink real quick. I'm going to show that. Yeah, exactly. And then the two wow. burner gas cooktop. Very nice. And then one Look at all these drawers. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's that's amazing to me. Yes. This much, you know. Big drawers too. Very nice. Wow. Good storage. Man. What else did you Oh, uh, let's check the price, the actual price. Okay. Yes, Mercedes chassis, Andrea, just like America, which is good, you know? Nice 10 inch screen. Yeah. And where's the actual price on this? The price with all the equipment here, it's now uh, under 100,000 euros. Wow, so nice still, still for Mercedes, that's yeah. very nice. So starting from 67 uh, with all the equipment, pop top, yes. coming up to 98 here. Wow. That's wow. a great place. Now, Andrea, look. I at love these this blue. Two blue motorhomes. Oh, Absolutely look amazing. at this one. Now, Andrea, before we take a look at them, let's give a big shout out to Brooklyn Bedding. They made this whole thing possible. Matt's RV Reviews European Edition is proudly sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding, which is RVMattress.com. RVmattress.com made this once in a lifetime trip come true. They are 100% the reason why we were able to bring you Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition. Join us after the review as we bring you along to Buckingham Palace and some other great places here in London. And if you need a new mattress for your RV, search no further than RVmattress.com backslash Matt. Here's the three best mattresses they have to offer. The first being the Dream Foam Hybrid which is universal comfort with cooling on contact. Next is the Signature Hybrid, which is their best seller. It is patented superior sleep at a factory direct price. Or my personal favorite, which is the Brooklyn Aurora Lux, best in class cooling technology in a premium luxury hybrid. Best part about it, it is free shipping. You get a 120 night sleep trial guaranteed and they are 100% made in the USA. All you have to do is take it out of the box, lay it out, and watch it expand. Make sure you check out my video on all the different types of mattresses. I will link that video at the end of this video and in the description below. Click our link down below and use promo code MAP for 20% off. And again, thank you to rvmattress.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. Yeah, we have this uh, we saw before. It's the free 600S front wheel drive. Same interior here, just different exterior color, nice blue, shiny Well, let's color. take a look because if the interior is different color, correct? White. Yeah, it's just the, the it's a white, yes. it's a white surface on top, but for the rest, it's the same interior. For the, I love this same, blue. Same I love this blue. This I, blue is really cool. Wow. Look at this. The blue is fantastic. And how much more is it to get a color like this? It's, here at this model it's just 2000 euro more wow so oh my uh, goodness it's, but it's included in this special edition we call it blue evolution oh okay so that's that's how this all um yeah we are coming up with this. i love it <laughs> this looks absolutely it fantastic. does i mean the blue just pops you know wow oh So this one's this one is 87 <gasps> yeah so really it's a total package uh, we made with the special edition with wow. all the equipment inside um, let's say that the customer can already go and start to for the holiday with awning pop top roof everything included in this package so I love it that's the concept yes now this one is different correct this one is different uh, it's a Fiat based model, but I would say yeah. it's the same interior like the 3S. Let's go and uh, check our new facelift product. Oh, okay. Uh, so, um, and we have made a new uh, interior design with our Fiat uh, based camper vans. We're following you. Yes. So I would say to have a look at this one. Okay. Here we, we made everything new on this Fiat based camper vans. Nice interior. I think you saw already our Venture S product. Yes. Here we are coming up with some details as well from this Venture S. For example, our nice push locks yes. or the design as you can see as well in the seating group. Really nice small details. 
and the nice bed system. For example, I can show you the bed system. Normally, yes. in this kind of bed, you have a separated in three different parts. So not per really so so nice for the sleeping comfort. And here we have developed a new mattress system that where there is as well a sleeping comfort system on top. Okay. But the good thing is you can roll you can roll it up. Oh. Put it, put it to the side. Here, no, you're good. I got one right here. Very cool. Has a huge advantage. Yes. In the sleeping comfort, and you can store it and make space in the middle of the the car. So as a normal camper van. Though. Let's see if we can get in this one. Up, oh, always in line. It's okay. Ah yes. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, oh. oh. sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, here there, what I'm talking about, the new interior design of our camper van, oh, yes. Fiat based models. And here, this kind of uh, thing in the seat. Oh, very nice. With the modular system. Yes, 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 that rail. was in the Venture S. This was in the Venture S. And yeah, the, you can build those however you want. Yeah, and you can bring up some more accessories, uh, put it whatever, wherever you want. It's a nice seating group. You can uh, as well adjust um, the way of seating. Um, so a lot of um, yeah individualization at this yes. point. Yes, yes. And uh, a nice interior design. And we, we're coming up as well. It's totally uh, digitalized this with our um, Klima Connect system with the seven inch um, display. And it's also based uh, with all the installation on our app so i love it everything included here i love it these bees are fantastic four bees <laughs> a little salt and pepper shaker sink and then yes yeah. please show it. us yeah. and this is uh the, as well as the new domestics um we know that one cooker exactly <laughs> Very nice. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to pull up in this drawer. Let's see what's in here. Oh, no. that's for water. Yep. Down there, there's more storage. And, okay. Wow. Wow. Soft clothes. Yes. But I love how everything locks into place, too. Wow. Very nice. And you got the refrigerator right here, Matt, and the freezer. Yes. You check out that bathroom. Okay. Okay, look, cassette toilet, T Very, floor, and, and then this is what that blue one looks like as well. Yeah, it's a. It, it, this is a bit more premium based. Oh, okay, so then good. When it, when it comes to when it comes to interior part, you can also add here another window in front. Yes. You can see it on the other one. Yes, I love and that. And of course, our pop-up roof is as well here inside. Now, so. can you get this interior with a blue exterior? No, you cannot change this. It's always oh. you can just ch change it to another color, a bit lighter colors. But here you have, uh, in comparison to our Mercedes-based vans. Um, yeah, a bigger uh, bed on top. We have 140 um, of uh, of bed uh, and two two meter and ten length. So bigger bigger than in the Mercedes space. Perfect. And what do these sell for? Yeah, this one is starting from 69, and this is uh, 92,000. Oh wow! At this point. Very good. We have as well optional uh, wheels here, also yes. here with uh, our BF Goodrich Altera possible and yeah, a lot of different individualizations, a nice gray color at this point. Very nice. And then Andrea, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Yes. Yeah, this is our Backtrack Plus system. Wow. So as you can see, you can equip it, this system to the back of the, our camper vans on the Fiat based ones. And come up here, you can try to test it. This is what we invented for and what we're famous for. And it's a bike carrier swing. And this is a quite <gasps> easy system. Oh my wow. goodness. Bring it up like that. Oh, wow. And then it rolls. Incredible. And you don't need any. Yeah. Right. This is the, the new system for bikes here uh, that we're offering for us. And wow. you don't have to lift it like normal. Yeah, you, you know? don't need any um, power. Now, if people are watching this, can they get this in the US? 
At the moment, it's just here for Europe products. At the moment, but guys, <laughs> but at the moment, comment down Let's below at the moment. if Bob Martin gets enough uh, requests, you know, he'll bring it over. Because yeah, again, you can the, try it on your own. Try it on your own. Yeah, this is just a Oh, oh yeah. It's quite easy to handle. Wow. A lot better than the bike racks that we have in America. Every time I close the door, I smash myself in the back of the head. Wow, very cool. Let's go see if we can take a look at that one that we didn't get the to see. The limited edition? Yeah, I forget which one it was. It was the green one. Ah, yes, the green one. This one. This one. This one. In the entrance area, we have our gas compartment. Okay. Just a, a small bottle. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's necessary because uh, just the cooker is going with gas. The rest of the system, we have a diesel heater, so um, quite independent system. Yeah, here we have uh, different surfaces. And oh, okay. Oh, I like it. It's yes. cool. It's different. Very nice. Andre, show that bunk over the cab. Just raise it up. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, and then the bathroom, it's like in the free as we saw before. We have here the possibility with the big toilet and another um, nice thing is our sink it's foldable yes so we have a nice uh, surface as well and you can use with the with the window there as well the, the sink as an outdoor shower so oh, cool. yes uh, double function very nice i love it i like the colors in here yeah show some of this cabinetry up here please andrea okay so we got some cabinets up here like the led lights yes very nice i guess this is for your coffee maker huh yeah oh where is the coffee maker the there... coffee coffee maker uh, it's not here inside but this oh, is a system this is a, a first that we've seen at the rv show no coffee maker in an <laughs> rv yeah, but this is a enlargement of the space so can you you can attach it wherever you want oh. and enlarge oh. the storage space as well nice. the front so quite flexible oh, that's a very smart. yes sink two burner gas cooktop and then we got a nice drawer here wow very good nice yeah. and as well here oh, oh very good i like how they're Hidden doing space. all that soft clothes yes love it yeah. Refrigerator is the same as in the other ones. Exactly, 90 liters. At this, this light colored wood, I like yeah, it a lot. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Okay. Well, thank you so much for showing us three, thank four, five, well. or six uh, different types of Class B motorhomes. Guys, do us a huge favor. Comment down below. Let us know which Class B you liked. Personally, if it was up to me, I liked the inside of the I keep wanting to call it Ducati it's not yeah, Ducati Ducato. Fiat Ducato Ducato okay yeah so it kind of is yeah. I like the inside of that one that looked like the Venture S but for me I'd have to call Bob Martin I tell him I want a blue exterior just saying <laughs> um but we'd love to hear your comments down below which one's your favorite out of the ones that we looked at I mean, I uh, developed not a new interior for the last two years of the Fiat Ducato. Oh. So coming up with, with the Venture S interior, and of course, I have to say. So I, you designed that? Yeah, I was responsible. Not for too the shabby. Huh? I like the Venture S. <laughs> yes. I think the Venture S is probably my favorite Class B here. Thank you. So, so. thank you so much. Anything else you want to say to the audience? Yeah, I hope you have the chance as well to check out our camp events here in Europe, and I would like to meet you here. Yes. Yes, we're, we are going to link Heimer's website down below. Andrea, anything you want to say? Yes, thanks everyone. We had such a good time here. Thank you to Heimer, um, you know, uh, Dominic, uh, Bob Martin, everybody, just for making this possible. We, we are having such a great time. Make sure you join us next week for a new episode of Matt's RV Reviews European Edition. And make sure you guys stay tuned to see a little bit, yes. a little peek of our European vacation trip. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. in one place it happens like they change and then they walk down this way so we just need to go down there and then we'll see them walking I it's guess. going on fellas
fellas. Yes. What's happening today? We're going to Buckingham Palace and we're going to see the, the changing of the guard. Why is it just us three? Because, why does it look like there's a line through my face? Because uh, Will there's isn't... It is. Will isn't feeling good. And now there's a hand on my face. <laughs> Will isn't feeling good. And everyone else is lazy. <laughs> you can't say no, that. I'm tired. It's because Will isn't feeling good and all the girls are sleep deprived, so they asked if they could sleep in and join us a little later in the day. Yep, so they'll, they'll, we'll see them next episode. And now it's just you and me and me and you, you and, and us. And, and our friend Steve. Steve. <laughs> so we're going to take you along to Buckingham Palace okay. and figure out what's going on. Right? Like, which direction do they walk? Well, they walk this way, but it's kind of like, did it already happen? Right. Yeah. Why don't you ask that guy with the flag? So, so where's the guard? We came on the wrong day. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I and you come. Up. Yeah, yeah, but we did get but told where to go and what exactly yes, to do. Yeah, the tour guide told me like where he takes his tours, so we just save money. We don't. Just... <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it just might work out because everybody wasn't feeling good tomorrow, anyway. Yeah. Then we can come tomorrow, and everybody can see it. And they said we could have marched down with them a little bit and actually see like the old guards come out and the new guards go in. So if you come so like, do they do 24-hour shifts or something, or 48-hour yeah, shifts? I think 12 hour shift. Interesting. Well, no, not if it's Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays. Yeah, like Monday and then there. It might just Wednesday. be that's the only time they do the formal ceremony. Oh. Uh, uh, that would make sense. You know what it probably is? There's probably some backup already in there. Like they all come. Some people are out, some people are inside, and they switch. Right. Lovely. <sighs> How big the horses are. There you go. Now where are we going, Jen? Um, Truffle Guard Square. We're just kind of walking around. Yeah, so we'll leave this Truffle Guard Square in with Buckingham Palace. Yeah. So we'll check it out. Yeah. We might scooter somewhere else. Yeah. See? Wow, 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 wow. I'll just record and you can sub the audio. Wow, 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 wow. This isn't it? No. All right, well, we'll still look at it. I like, I like his Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? So what were you saying? I said, I just want to be able to drink a bunch of water and pee a bunch all at once. Why does it have to pee in like intermittent times? Like little or amount. Like just let it get out at once and then give me five hours or six hours out and you can take a piss. Okay, this statue is great. It's just part of Buckingham Palace. Even the boring stuff, Jen, that isn't like a, an event, is still nice. What is this? It's nice though. All right, Jen, we made it. Where are we? Couple Gar Square. Yes. I don't know anything about it though, but it's pretty. I like how we're just walking in the middle of the road. Okay. Well, this is close. To yeah. Where we go? Oh, Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh, we've driven past this place. Oh, is Did that the, the museum? Or oh, no, the gallery. No, we won't go to that. Lions. Yes. Cool. It's like Will's with us right now. Speaking of Will, let me see if he's texting. All right, Jen, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your time seeing Buckingham Palace. 
and Trafalgar Square. And now where are you headed next? We're gonna get a coffee. It's coffee time. <laughs> Make sure you guys join us again next weekend for another episode of Matt's RV Reviews.